Hey everybody, this is my 2011 Porsche Cayman S that is currently uh, up for sale. Taking this video in hopes of supplementing um, photos that I'll take later on. Uh, the I apologize. I'm in I'm in my driveway, somewhat narrow over here, so I've got a much better kind of range on the passenger side than I will on the driver's side when I get around to that that side of the car. Um, I'm also doing my best to um, keep the car in the frame of the video. Uh, I'm using a GoPro which doesn't have a viewfinder, and in my left hand I have uh, my smartphone which has a GoPro app that allows me to see it. However, there's a significant delay. And um, as I kind of walk around, I might lose uh, uh, lose my train of thought like I just did as my dog walked into the frame. Uh, anyway, it's, uh, two, like I said, 2011 Porsche Cayman S. Um, aqua blue metallic with a black full leather interior with some uh, panels in deviating brown or deviating panels in brown, I should say. Um, it is, it was, the, the car was ordered by me. It's a PDK transmission, um, somewhere around 16,500 miles. We'll take a look at the, uh, the odometer when we get into the car and do that video. Um, if you notice, there is uh, the vents. It was actually, sorry, um, the car had a design package, um, which was available in the 2011s. I'm not sure what other model years that was available. I think 2011 was the first, maybe 2012 as well. But the design package has um, a lot of uh, exterior parts painted in black, um, as well as the design pack included the, uh, uh, the Cayman R or Boxster Spider wheels that you see on the car, also painted in black. But the other bits that were um, painted in black are the, the, the side view mirrors, which you can see, um, the, the side vents, which in, I have replaced with Boxster Spider vents, um, painted in body color the uh the original i still have the original vents painted in black um and i'm happy to swap those out for a potential buyer the uh <clears throat> as i move around to the front of the car the headlight trim is uh, uh it, or the headlight exterior edges are trimmed in black vinyl um replicating the look that's on the uh, the cayman r again um if, if you're familiar with the Cayman R, you'll know that the, uh, the aqua blue color came with silver trim. I, I'm actually, a, uh, I prefer the black much better. Um, so the, the, the aqua blue Cayman R had silver side mirrors, a wing blade and um, side vents and a bunch of other, or a, maybe a handful of other things that were painted silver. Uh, the design pack, like I said, um, has a lot of those in black. Um, but however, it does not have the black trimmed headlights, which, uh, again, this, this, the, the vinyl kind of replicates that look, um, moving a little bit closer to those headlights. You can see here that I also, um, have replaced the stock Chrome, uh, headlight washer nozzles with a body colored, um, body colored units. They, uh, I, I'm not a fan of having the, the kind of the, uh, Chrome nipples as they call them sticking out. So. I have those in body color. I also I still have the chrome ones that, that came out of the bumper. Um, moving down into the grill area or the intake area, um, I should have done a better job cleaning that out, but you can see here that I have a uh, Renline um, has a mesh that they offer that I've, in, that I've installed. I actually had a mesh from another vendor at some point, but that installed through the front um, and uh, installed with zip ties. This is a much cleaner installation. Uh, as you can see, it, it's effective in that there's some leaves on the outside that, I, again, I should have cleaned up. Um, below that, you can see the splitters from the, uh, the factory aero kit. Uh, you know, same is true for the front over here. Uh, there's, there's center grill mesh as well. Um, you'll notice, too, that the, the, the bumper has not been drilled for a, uh, for a um, license plate. Uh, when I purchased the car, I lived in uh, Illinois and Chicago, which they do require a uh, a front plate. However, I've been running a uh, a, a tow hook mounted plate for the life of the car. Um, I'm, the car is currently in Massachusetts, and they also require a plate. But uh, again, I've been running the tow hook mount. 
Um, moving over to the other side here, you'll notice that there's uh, actually, so uh, the, 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 whole, the whole front end of the car is covered in a clear bra. Uh, and when I say the whole front end, a lot of times the, the clear bra is typically kind of halfway up the hood um, and uh, a, a, about a quarter of the way up the fenders. Uh, and this, this has the, the clear bra all the way up the hood and all the way up the fenders. And I, I lost my preview on my smartphone, so I'm hoping that um, all these things come into the shot the way that I would like them to. But you can see here, if you look real closely, you can see that the clear bra material um, goes all the way to the top of the fenders. Um, it's the, the, the fuel filler lid is also covered. And then the same is true for the, for the, uh, the hood. So you don't see that line that, that a lot of times you'll see when it cuts across. That being said, uh, the, front, the whole front bumper, as well as the splitters, are covered with uh, material. And at some point uh, last year before I put the car away, somebody was nice enough to, uh, to back into the car and did left this. Uh, I haven't cleaned it up as much as I would like to. It appears that there's no damage to the paint. It's just uh, basically damage to the clear bra. Um, I, could, I could clean that up a little bit. You can see there that there's some of the materials off. There's some adhesive back there as well. Um, I just wanted to get in touch with my detailer to find out what's the best uh, method for, for taking this stuff off, um, causing you know no additional damage. <clears throat> Going around to the other side, this is where I'm kind of tight on space. You'll see over here I don't have a, a ton of room. Um, or I have plenty of room, but the, the way the, the camera viewing angle is, um, you won't see the entire car. But going around to the other side, I mean, the car is uh, in excellent condition. Uh, there's, again, the black mirror caps that are part of the, the sport design package. Um, the black spider vents, this one has looks like it has a stone chip in it. Uh, the black wheels, the, the black spider wheels, which are... Uh, painted at the factory and um, you can see some surface rust on the brake rotors too but the they're painted at the factory and when they're painted at the factory they, they leave a silver lip as well as they leave the um, the wheel barrels in a gray color um, before I took delivery of the car I actually called around to see if uh, I could get those painted and, and basically any rim repair shop will do the job I think it was reasonably priced too, around $50 a wheel um, However, when I took delivery of the car, I actually like the look with the, the, the gray barrels better because I think it gives the, the wheels more definition. Um, I also replaced the uh, factory Porsche lug bolts with these McCard units, which have the um, key lock, but they're also finished in black. The car originally came with silver wheel bolts. So um, good look overall. Um, at some point, I... I entertain the idea of putting um, studs in there but I never got around to it and coming around the back here you can see uh, the rear of the car which is a very good looking view it's also very sunny out here which shows the the uh, aqua blue metallic really nice um, the I guess the final piece of the sport design package would be the black exhaust tips which I think the Cayman S came standard with chrome ones um, the exhaust is the ex is is a unit from the Cayman R and that differs from the the sport exhaust from the S in that it uh, has a, a larger mid pipe by five millimeters I believe so it, it, that's attributable for the, to the 10 additional horsepower that the Cayman R has over the Cayman S uh, and you can see here that the the wing blade of this car uh, uh, you know the the spoiler is is black which I think fits <laughs> Fits well. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to cut out there. Uh, my my vicious dog was uh, was attacking the the mailman as, uh, as she walked up the or the mail woman as she walked up the uh, the driveway. So I had to put a stop to that. Uh, anyway, back to the you can see here again that the the spoiler is painted in black, which again goes well with the theme of the car. I believe, you know, in my opinion, anyway, with the bl the blue and the black. Um, the one final element that you don't see in the car is that w that again came with a de design pack from an exterior perspective is the um, the badge or the logo, the Cayman S logo, which was also done in high gloss black. 
I took that off. I just like the clean look of the, the, uh, the back without the logo. Um, however, I still have it. So that would be included in the trunk of the, that would, I'd throw that in the trunk of the car if you wanted to reapply it. Um, and back to the passenger side. So that's, that's basically it as far as, uh, from an exterior perspective. I mean, you can see here that the car is in excellent condition. Um, it's, it's on the, uh, the, the, the front tires have been replaced with the, the same units or the same tires that came as original equipment, which are the, uh, Michelin PS2s. The rears, um, have not been replaced. They're actually, uh, the outside shoulder, shoulder is a little bit worn, but the, um, the tread depth inward of that outside shoulder is actually quite good. So, oh, and then the, um, the side markers are the European clear units with the uh, Phillips bulbs, so you don't have what they what the folks refer to as the egg yolk look, where you see a orange bulb within the uh, within the the uh, indicator unit. However, it still does light up amber. So, um, in compliance from that perspective. So, I'll take one more walk around. I think I've kind of touched on everything as far as. Um, the, the attributes that make this the, the car somewhat unique, I think, and um, it is a little dirty. And you can see here that there's some dust on the top. I mean, this again, I'm taking this video in my own driveway. Um, you can see around that there's there's quite a few trees and spring pollen falling. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoy the look of the car as much as I do, um, and as pretty as it is to look at it, it drives even better. Um, I'm going to create another video for the interior and um, hopefully you'll give it a look.